Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, natural gas trading session was a little interesting because it did show signs of weakness, but in the past three to four hours, we have seen a strong rally upwards. But there are some news you need to know which are starting to come out. First of all, China's natural gas import is down 12% in January and February. And on the other end, US natural gas firms add the most new rigs in over four years. So this year it has been quite crazy in the natural gas industry before we get into all of this if you guys are here for the first time you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with natural gas scroll down tap the red subscribe button right there slap a like on the video for the youtube algorithm so everyone can stay up to date with what is happening with the breaking news of natural gas now the pipeline gas import volume during the january and february were down 5.2 percent from year to year so pretty much they're just comparing it to 2022 January and February and it is down 5.2% which is a significant dip. Chinese LNG import in January and February came in at 11.12 mn down 12% customs department data published on March 20th. Asia's biggest economy import 5.12 mn LNG in February which is up 8.2%. China's pipeline gas import last month dropped 7.2% and the data showed that the pipeline gas import volume during January and February was down 5%. This year, the imports have been lower as high global LNG prices and COVID-related lockdowns have hit the domestic gas demand. This is really interesting. Will this have a negative impact on the price? I personally feel like in the short term, yes, but in the long term, I don't think it will have a significant impact. But this will have a significant impact in the long term. The number of new U.S. oil and gas rigs rose by eight this week as the Biden administration continues to push for increased natural gas production. Now, this is huge. You need to understand that it is increasing at such an extreme rate and they're adding new rigs as soon as possible. And this is happening inside of the U.S. The data shows that the oil and the gas rig count rose by eight to 754 in the week commercing on the 13th of March. From the week beginning 6 to the last week, the number of gas rigs rose by 9 to 162, while oil rigs fell 1 to 589. So, as you can see, even the US is trying to actually increase the gas pipelines and also actually increase the gas rigs. And on the other end, the oil rigs actually fell by one, which is really interesting as the total increase in rigs from this time last year is 91 or the jump of 13%. The rig count was a 321 lower than the rig count at the beginning of 2019 prior to the COVID. So you guys can see. After the pandemic, US is trying to actually focus heavily towards natural gas as they see it as a more renewable source rather than oil and in the future that is going to be used significantly higher compared to oil and the rise in the rig count comes as US seeks to sustain their liquefied natural gas exports to displace Russian fuel. So obviously they're just trying to help the economy of EU and others while Russia is not providing that natural gas and that is one of the reasons why they increased it so significantly just in the past two or one year. If you have been paying attention to the chart if you have looked at the four hour chart you guys can see that the trend is still quite good if you look over here this is where the next trading session opened and that was the point of a downfall slow downfall but if you do compare it to the initial where we started from you guys can see that this lower low this higher high this lower low it is still in an overall an uptrend do i think that this uptrend will carry on i do not know so i'm not going to making i'm not going to try to make that prediction just keep in mind if you are a short trader of natural gas i reckon that you should be a little bit careful if you are leverage trading at a quite high level another thing is as you guys can see it is starting to build a little bit 
of a triangle which if it does decide to break through you guys know usually ends up being an uptrend and if we just break above the 2.5 zone i reckon that is going to be the strong zone that we will be able to flip the trend from if we are able to break that resistance and make it into a support zone i think that would play a very crucial role in changing the price completely and on the other end you guys can see that the sell orders are still very strongly outweighing the buy orders but today we still have a little bit of a positive trend yes as you can see we did go down all the way to test the 2.3 zone but that used that was used by a lot of people as a buying order and once the buying order came in we were able to see another uptrend quite quickly and on the rsi line we're getting closer and closer to the center zone once we're in the center zone we will be seeing a little bit of a cool off before natural gas is able to decide on the direction they want to go now this is really interesting ukraine is a full justification america's destructive new rush for natural gas so as the war in ukraine sent natural gas price skyrocketing plants are springing up all along the gulf coast seriously harming not just local communities but the world's ability to keep the entire climate crisis at the bay so once this all of this was a problem America took it into their own hands trying to help the whole world, but the communities are not happy as the amount of problems that will create will be a lot larger than the amount of profit it will create. On the other end, Edison sees investment decision on the East Med gas pipeline by the year end. Energy Group Edison plans to take the final investment decision on proposed pipeline to deliver the East gas to the European markets by the end of the year, the Italian project developer told everyone. Now, if this goes as planned, we expect to take the final investment decision by the end of the year with the FID in 2023. The project would be realized by 2027 now if this is all going to go by plan this is going to provide more source of natural gas and you guys can see in general what is pretty much happening is everyone's trying to just get a different source for natural gas as russia is not providing what is expected so they do not want to rely on russia next winter which will be 2023 and if everything goes by plan you know the demand is going to stay the same but the supplies are starting to build up quite significantly what sort of impact will it have on the price well the price will see a downtrend the state gas report delay at the queensland cng project the delivery of compressor has been delayed and they're actually talking quite strongly as australia's are not happy our inability to commission the compressor will have a consequential delay to the original cng project timeline at this point we expect the cng project to be producing gas by july 2023 so this is a slight delay in terms of what was expected and what will be coming through but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have been paying attention natural gas is showing some signs of recovery but we need to wait and watch other than that i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did drop a like on it if you're new to the channel do you want to stay up to date with everything subscribe and i'll see you very soon i'm out peace